If you're a YouTuber and create videos, you will know that analytics are very important. YouTube has its own Creator Studio application, which they have recently updated to make it almost as good as using the website. So let's see what's inside. Hi everyone, this is Rob at the Video Gadgets Journal giving you a quick overview of a new YouTube Creator application, which has been recently updated to include many more statistics. On the dashboard you can see a brief rundown of your views, estimated minutes, subscribers and total estimated earnings, which I've blocked out so you can't see that, obviously that's personal information. And if you click on the view more, then you can drill down into a lot more information, which give you various graphs as I said in the introduction, very similar to the website itself. If I touch any of the graphs, they are all pressable and it gives you longer overviews. So you can look at 28 days and go all the way back to all time views. As you can see, I used to do slightly better than I am now. Anyway, if I go back to the original dashboard, we can look at estimated minutes watts, the average view dur duration. Uh, there's some more information about total estimated earnings, subscriber counts, again, all pressable, you can go into the information and it looks very similar to the website. New information has been added here, uh, recent additions such as views from subscribers. As you can see I don't get too many but now that is the information that's included and again we can press into it. That's one of the useful things about this new application, it's all pressable links. Top videos in the last 28 days, real-time views, something that's a new addition to the YouTube website, sorry, it has been a new addition in the last year. Very useful again to click on it and you can get a brief rundown of real-time numbers. Let's drill down into one of these by just pressing on the information button and that will take us to the video directly where we can see more information about that specific video, including views, comments, likes, dislikes, and so on. Comments here as well. Another advantage is that you can reply to comments directly from the Creative Studio app. So if I take one as an example, press on it. Very long response here, but I can give it a like, and I can also press on the reply button to quickly type in a message. So now you can manage your YouTube applications and videos away from your desktop which is very handy when you're out and about on the move. If we go back to the first column, you will see here on the analytics that we have overview, earnings, discovery, audience. One, I think, bug that it doesn't allow you to do is actually swipe into another screen. You actually have to tap on the columns, which you can do like that. And again, these are all clickable tables. Lots of information here uh, to look at. For example, uh, how many uh, searches have been done on those particular videos, audience, there's the demographics for that, interactive content, how many people have clicked on my cards, and there's all sorts of brilliant information here that is now available on the Creator Studio. You can access many of these from the left hand side as well, bring up the menus, and generally now the YouTube Creator Studio application is pretty comprehensive as an Android application. You can download it free now from the Google Play Store. If you enjoyed this type of video that I'm doing, this is a bit of an experimentation of a new type of video, just quickly looking at an application while I dance through it, then let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon in another Video Gadgets Journal video. Take care everyone.